episode eight i believe we on episode eight, eight y'all and as you can see once again we have another new and official co-host say hello to our girl diamond hey everybody welcome to the truth girl <laughs> thank Lord, you for Lord, having yes, me yes and permanently lord knows yes. we ain't gonna do no more changes i, I have right. to go okay. yes yes okay. all right now as you can see we're gonna have a great show today and we have a special guest with us she is my best friend, the mother of my goddaughter, the strongest person I have ever known. Please say hello to my girl, my bestie, Ro. Hi, everybody. All right. Now, as you can see, we about to get into some real talk right now. It's starting to look like a real talk show right now because <laughs> we about to talk about something that a lot of people can relate to, and that is a toxic relationship. Mm. Woo. <laughs> so, uh, who wants for to go all, first on this? For all y'all people out there that has been through a toxic relationship mm -hmm. or don't know what a toxic relationship is we're gonna tell you today Let me tell you, you on the at, truth you looking at some experts right here so yes uh so bestie since um you are our special guest host and uh, trust me we, I, we go way back i've known you for a long time uh and whatnot and i've seen a lot that you had to go through and you had to overcome and whatnot you mind just giving the people yeah, a little bit <laughs> <laughs> Just, yeah. <laughs> just give them a little um, brief um, detail on what you had to go through in that relationship you was in and how you uh, overcame all of that. I went through six years of a hot mess. Um, <laughs> basically, I, I will say um, due to love, I allowed someone to de devalue me as a person. Um, I went beyond everything that I believed in just because of love. I dealt with it for love. And it changed me as a person. You know, I lost who I was, everything that I believed in. Um, you know, and I became a person that I didn't even know who I was anymore from that. And I definitely forget love, baby. <laughs> the man and, man or woman not good to you is, is better to walk away than continue it on for years and years. And because it, it, it really can affect you mentally, you know, and emotionally in a way that when you really might find somebody that you really love, you might mess it up. That's true. That's mm -hmm. when they call, you know, blocking your blessings and whatnot. Sometimes mm -hmm. the wrong per the, I mean, the right person would have to pay for what the wrong person did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's so That's unfortunate but true. And you know what? I think sometimes as well, mm -hmm. um, people, when they think about toxic relationships, they often think of like the worst of the worst. I mean, don't get me wrong, when it comes to relationships, period, toxic relationships is the worst. But the thing is, what people usually stigmatize that topic with is abuse as far as physical or rape or anything of that nature. So any one of us could have so much went through those things, but I also wanna remind our viewers that for those that probably didn't go through those things, what toxic relationships really is. And I personally feel as though that a toxic relationship is really any time that you are, well, how I want to say it, like sacrificing yourself or you're in danger mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually, and even financially. Anytime that you're at risk in a relationship and your partner's not hearing you, your partner is not trying to see your, your side and they're not trying to help you make it work, fix it, or nothing like that, and you keep being hurt, and you keep sacrificing yourself in that manner and nothing is getting done and you're being in pain, then yeah, that's a toxic relationship that you need to get out of that, especially if y'all keep going back and forth and nothing is getting resolved and it's still the same hot mess. So I just want everybody to, you know, feel like that this can too, can apply to you, not just people who has been beat, not just people who have been raped, not people who just been kidnapped or whatever the case may be that happened in a toxic relationship. Don't think, don't think if the man say or the woman say, oh, I love you, and they're hitting you, cursing you out, calling you names, 
doing all kinds of craziness to you that is not making you feel like a person, that's not love. First of all, I always say love is not even supposed to hurt. The people always say, yeah, love does hurt. Okay, love is not supposed to hurt. <laughs> okay, yeah. If you sacrificing your own happiness just to make your partner happy and maybe he or she is getting some joy and you still not happy, that's a toxic relationship because you both have to be mutually happy. The happiness has to be on both levels. And who sung that song, I love us enough for both of us? If you don't even love him, you need to love yourself about it. Because <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. it, it takes two for a relationship. It should that's not true. just be one person putting in effort. Because mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. apparently that person don't really want effort with you. Yeah. So you should let just let it go. It's, you, the you only so love that yet. should ever hurt is having a kid. Oh, okay. no, yeah, we, we did that episode over. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying. But it's the truth, though. It it's really is the truth. True. The only yeah. hurt and love that you should experience from a male or a woman point of view is your child. Mm -hmm. No man, no woman, no one is supposed to make you feel less than a woman, less than a man, less than a child. Mm hmm. That's taking your ability of a human being away. And nobody needs to feel less than a human being. Right. And no matter what they say, and I know that sometimes in some situations, you have people that be like, well, he loves me or she loves me. Okay, that very well may be true. That person may love you, but they are don't loving you the wrong it. Yeah, they don't way. know how to show it. They don't so know how to don't, show it correctly. Right. So it's like, don't ever confuse or get the two mixed up that, okay, just because he may love you, that you want to give him a second chance, or you might give her a second chance, or you might keep the relationship going. Don't ever do that. They may love you, but they love you the wrong way. And as long as they keep loving you the wrong way, you need to separate. Give them their space and give yourself some space and let them know. You got to get yourself together, because when we together and you not trying to fix yourself, then I need to separate myself so you can get yourself better, and then maybe we can talk about coming together. And that comes a lot of strength and confidence to do that. Ain't no, nobody like said anything we talking about here. Ain't nobody said it was easy. <laughs> it ain't never easy. Ain't nothing easy. Ain't nothing easy. Like we all say amen to that. Shoot, we human beings, we make mistakes, but and please gotta do not, it. Please do not stay with the man or the woman because of the child. Oh, oh no. Uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 you want to say at, something on that one? At the end of the day, that child is going to suffer yes. more, more yes. than you and him or him and you. Mm -hmm. And I say it both ways is because some men could be in a toxic relationship with a oh, woman. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's so, not only yeah. women being in toxic relationships. But the thing is the world always looks at it as, okay, women can be more vulnerable than men. Uh, which is not always true. It's Sometimes not. women can be just as abusive and as harsh, or especially if he's a good man at that, they can be even more harsh on him. Just like how a, a man can be harsh on a woman when she when she's a good one. Mm -hmm. So it can go both ways. A lot of times, when you're harsh on that person, that person, their dignity is already taken. Mm. They wow. have low self-esteem of their self already, so they let you ponder them and pound them to the point that they're no longer their self. They're your property instead of they self. And yeah, I yeah. can definitely yes. say um, yeah, so. painting a picture, a fake picture for your children is the worst thing that you can ever do. I mean, I did that and, you know, it wasn't a good turnout. You know, my daughter, she looked at it like, oh, he never did nothing to you. He was good to you. And I'm like, in front of you, baby. But behind closed doors, it was a whole nother story. I was very miserable. I was very miserable. Where I used to cry myself to sleep at night. You know, it caused my anxiety to get worse and stuff. And it, and it was like, I was hurting myself trying to... Because you want to make your kids happy. You know both of the parents. But kids want to see y'all get along. It's yeah, not just yeah. about y'all being together. They would rather know that mommy and daddy is happy okay. than That's mommy being miserable, crying at night. And daddy, because let me tell you, when I got engaged, my daughter was so happy. She was so happy. She was very, she, she was like, I think she's more happy than I was. <laughs> she, she was so excited. And it was just like, just the look on her face that just told me, like, she, all she cares about is, is my happiness. Like, not that she wouldn't care about her daddy happiness, but that's what she wants to see. And to the point where it's like, 
you know, but be respectful when you depart from that person. Don't talk about, because no, no child want to hear you talk bad mouth about their mama. No, no no child wants to hear you talk bad about their dad. Keep, keep your thoughts to yourself and, and, and whoever you talk to alone. Because, you know, when I did that, that really hurt my daughter. To the point where she was like, I know you don't love my daddy, but I love my daddy. I said, you know what, you right, you right. Mm-hmm. And I, I mean, but out of respect, you know, that's her parent and that's not my family, that's her family. But it is just it, sometimes it's better for you to be apart than yeah, to be true. together, and it, it, it might hurt because you want to be with that person, but it's not worth the trauma that it can cause of other people and yourself. Because sometimes it, it take a it take a while, it take a sledgehammer to bring you back. Sometimes <laughs> yeah. because yeah. some women yeah. get so toxic into that type of stuff, they start to believe that every man is the same, or men, men too. They mm-hmm. get hurt because men get emotional too. So don't act like they don't get mm-hmm. emotional. Yeah. Some yeah. men think that you know all women is the same. They think all women are whores or whatnot, and you know, and it's and it's like you got to step back and really think to yourself. Well, you know what? That person did give a lot of sign that they wasn't good for me, and I was just kept sticking. Thinking, knowing that it wasn't good, cause you keep you want to keep women. Oh, you know about women love giving men hope. Oh, they had that hope. Yes, hope he going to keep. Yes, they, <laughs> they keep that hope alive. Yes. Mm. That so, word yeah. hope goes. When, right, when, right. when you lo- when you left him, how did it feel? Amazing. <laughs> I, I honestly felt like blessings, more blessings came to me when I when I let that toxic go because you know I had I feel hold again. I, I felt myself again. I felt that oh I gosh. like I felt myself. I was able to mature better about it when it came to the so man I'm with day. now. You know, which it came months later. I I felt like I was able to get back to knowing what my work was to where I'm like okay. And 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 the man ain't attract me. You know, he attracted me from this one day. Just like I told him, I was like, I'm going to my job, I'm, and I'm it be so cold there. And he offered me his blanket. I'm just like, <laughs> that little good boy was like, had me like, mm, you, you nice, but it, but it made me like really open up my eyes to what I really deserve. What and real love, what like, real love really looks good, like, what mm-hmm. really look yeah. like, and everything. Yeah. And I'm still with that man. I'm uh, yes, 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 yes. yes. Amen. Baby yes. on the way. Yep. Yes, and congratulations too. Yes. Congratulations. Yes. That's seven years yes. later. I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> so how do you feel after being with this man for so many years or months or you know time just yeah. the time that you put into this relationship compared to the toxic one that you had I honestly wish I would have been walked away I, I wish mm-hmm. I would not have got myself so sunken into the relationship that I forgot who I was as a person and you know, and it and it grew me up. It grew me up definitely. Yeah, and yeah, you know, yeah, I don't. Yeah, there's yeah, no hate yeah. in my blood because yeah. you know, Lord writes your stories the way He write them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you know, some people got to go through tough measures before they really learn stuff. But yeah, you know, it was so the best decision I ever made. Uh-huh. Okay. Best decision yes. I made. I don't regret yes. nothing. Are you happier yes. now? I really am within yes. myself as a person and just overall the. Uh, the choice. I, I just actually told my, my man the other day, like, I'm, like, I really, I feel like I made the right decision, you know, and I and I can't wait to have his first child, you know, mm-hmm. this, this experience I didn't get to feel with my daughter, like, I went through everything by myself, mm-hmm. and that was depressing, going to ultrasound by myself, and mama had cut the cord and stuff, and it was like, that. that's a depression. And I hope some women, some of y'all kind of get and grow up a little bit and understand that, you know, have have a baby when it's time to do it. Some of us, you know, we make mistakes and we go through life, but it's it's more better to have a wanted baby than an unwanted baby. Sometimes. So I have a question. You're having this baby for yourself or for the man that you're with? Because of the situation that you've been in, no, we. This is a decision. You, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. No, this is a, this is something that we both wanted. Okay. Mm-hmm. It wasn't See, something that I made by myself. That, yeah, that's, that's, yes, that's beautiful. And how yes. did this pregnancy feel to you? I feel Compared. good. I feel good. Like I mean, my daughter, I was very happy due to my the support from my right. friends and family. But right. it's it's totally different to 
have somebody, you know, to be by your side. Go to that store when I want my crazy. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm home, I said I want this. It feels good. Really. Just to have somebody to say, yes, I love you. There. Right, and somebody support me. Side, and yes. care about my feelings uh, and stuff. And, and yeah. I had to use my mama like she's my big mother, baby daddy. You know, because I used to get on her nerves. I'm so sorry, mama. Um, but, you know, it's, it's a blessing. It's a blessing Amen. to have somebody there for my child okay. and as well as the new coming baby. Yes. Okay. So, Glory to God. Glory to God. No regrets at all. So you, so you would definitely say that you notice the difference of your life. Like, yeah, like the two relationships, like the one that is supportive. Because there's going to be times in relationships that we give and take and that we might do for people, you know what I mean, despite of our own well-being. But as long as that's reciprocated and we love each other to do that, I'm sure you can notice that healthy relationship and those healthy, you know, things versus the toxic one where... What I, did you no say sense. that you kept doing all of it? You were the one that was probably putting in most of the effort into that relationship, like one-sided? I was the one doing all the work with the past relationship. Um, and it was like I just kept pushing. And like It was like what I've always wanted, I kept wanting to make that work with somebody who did not want that at all. And mm-hmm. that is a big mistake that people make. If that's mm-hmm. not a future, if you don't talk about future, ha- whether it's not even kids, getting married, living together, that's not a conversation y'all have, believe that that person don't really want it with you. Because mm-hmm. if they yeah. did, that's mm-hmm. a conversation that you would have. And it's like, you want to do it with somebody that wants to do it. It's gonna, don't say, don't think it ain't going to be perfect. Y'all might argue still a little oh, bit. Oh, yeah, that's mountain You know, it's, it's yeah. life. You know, you can't say you get along with everybody, not even your closest friend all the time. That's true. Um, you know, because me and Tim had fallen out before, but one thing about this man right here, he never <laughs> left my daughter's side, no, and I no. really appreciate yeah, him for that. Absolutely. Even when he was so mad at me, he still was like, well, how's me then? <laughs> How, how's she doing? You know, and, and that, even even moving forward with the relationship that I am, I even told him, you know, it's not even about me just, I want a family, and I want us to, you know, of course, be together for a long time, but I would rather know that you're still going to be there. For mm-hmm. our child, That's regardless right. of how you feel about me, right. Right. to get me, you, you, I mean, respect me, <laughs> but you know, if you don't, you know, we don't want to be. It's fine, just as long as you be there for the child, because mm-hmm. that's what's more important. That's what people don't understand. It's more important for the parents to be there for the kid than be there with you, because not even marriage can guarantee that. Yeah, that does not mean you're gonna be together forever. That's, that's true. true. That's that so, true. True. That that so true. true. That's so true. So true. Very. You know, it's just with a child, that's that's more permanent than a tattoo. The tattoo, you can get removed. Mm-hmm. When you get married, you can get divorced. But a child, once that's your blood, that's your that blood. Is a, no, that is a marriage. marriage. That's another one. No, that is a marriage. Marriage, another life. A, a life with the baby is a marriage. But the separate reason is, this marriage, you can't divorce just that easy. Mm-hmm. And I know what you're saying by another life, Tim, but I say it's a marriage is because after that child is born, to the day y'all die, y'all will be mother and son, mother and daughter, father and son, father and daughter. That's yeah, a marriage. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah that's how, that, that, that time okay. will always be there, yeah, no matter what. And yeah. no matter how much your child do wrong or how much the parent whether it's a father or a mother, do wrong in the relationship with the child or with you. You should never demolish or discriminate on your child's parent. Never hit them. Never disgrace them. Because at the end of the day, they could be your best friend. And a lot of relationships is better off Especially if it's toxic, it's better off being friends than being lovers. Amen to that. Amen to that. It always works out better like that, too. It does. Yes, it works it out does. so much and better. And if you like co parent, if you know how to co parent, you will get along much better, too. Because if you don't know how to co parent with this one or two or three children that you have with this significant other, you will lose your children faster than you will lose the significant other. Mm -hmm. Because the children Mm -hmm. don't have to see. They have ears. They Mm -hmm. hear more than what we think they hear. Mm -hmm. 
they see more than what we think they see. That's the truth. And that's, yeah, and I was going to say. And they sense and feel. They, exactly. Yeah, they feel is is more stronger, and they sensibility is much stronger mm -hmm. than us because we're, um, okay, whatever. It, it is what it is, you know. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, this child, like your daughter, she said, Mommy, I'm happy that you're engaged because my mom is happy. So if my mom is happy, I'm happy. But if my mom is not happy, I'm not going to be happy. Yes, I do love my dad. But if my dad is not making my mom mentally, physically, emotionally happy, how can I be happy? Because I'm more connected to my mom than my dad. My mom is there every day. My dad is there every day, but he is not there mentally emotionally he may be there physically but it's not the way that i need him to be and a lot of children go through that and they, yeah, are, yeah, they are not yeah, slow yeah, i remember yeah, my daughter yeah. was four and um she she called me it was it was like we felt like we was like caught by our parents in the room and she was like wait mom she, she was four she said wait if y'all friends, she said, friends ain't supposed to be in the same bed together. I was like, you know what? You're too smart. You <laughs> so it, that's where it's like, again, what she said. You think your kids is not oh, aware no. of what's going on. But oh, it, you don't even, it ain't even got, got to be that you're arguing around. They sense it and they, they see do. it in the face. They pick up on a lot. They pick up on a lot. They they feel, really just do. like when they yeah. meet people, they, they, they can sense if that's a good mm -hmm. person that they're going to go, you know, hug them and they might be like, mm, mm -hmm. they kids know. Have, yeah, kids have their intuition too. Just like how a mother has her own intuition. Kids have that, believe it or not. So if they telling you something is not right with that person, like, mommy, I don't have a good feeling about them, believe that child because they can sense that. And anything they tell you, mom, I like, I like him or I like her. Go, go, listen to your child. Your child knows what they're talking your about. Your child could be your best friend. Exactly. Your yeah. child could be your savior. Yeah. <laughs> Within life. That's unconditional yeah. love. Exactly. Yes. So no matter what you go through, if someone can discriminate you or leave you behind, if you have a child, that child will love you unconditionally and to, to the day you die. Yeah, because I That's remember, real love right there. I remember I'm a mom. She's always said this about me ever since I was a child. And since I've grown, she's like, oh, I think it's changed. But when I was a child, my mom said that I always had good intuition of people, that I could just be in their presence and I could sense whether or not they're good or not. And from that, I would be, I didn't want to mess with them. I didn't want to talk to them. I didn't want to fool with them. So my mom right then would make jokes like, oh, I don't know who you are, but you got to get the out of here because <laughs> my daughter, she ain't playing with you, you know, just a high buy. But there has been times where my parents, because my parents, they're not together. So when I had, when my mother was going through her dating and my father was going through her, his dating, there has been times that I remember as a kid, like, I don't know why, but I don't like this lady. There's just something about this lady I just don't like and I don't want to interact with her. I don't want to talk to her. Like, and I was in the fifth grade, so that's like 10, 11 year olds. So yeah, I was like, I just did not. Yeah, so, right. So I was like, I just met her for the first time, didn't like her. Come to find out she was a whole nother woman later on down the road that did my father a little dirty. You know, not to put my dad's business out there because he's reserved and conservative. So don't, don't be getting hype poppy. So <laughs> it's like, when that happened, I was like, wow, you know what I mean? And my mom said, yo, you called it though. And I said, yeah, I did. But I mean, y'all wrong. Y'all do what y'all do. So the, another thing that I want to point out too is that maybe some of our viewers are probably wondering is what signs to look for in a toxic relationship. Because I know there's times that I've heard some people say that I don't know what happened. I've always been a confident person. I've never messed with no BS. I call BS and, and, and you know, once I see it, I dismiss that person and everything. But when I got in this relationship, my value went down, my confidence went down, everything. So I guess, you know, maybe our viewers are probably wondering how we think. What are those signals? What are those signs that people can Not probably look fun. for? <laughs> Some some people yeah. don't want to accept what they seeing. They don't want to sure. believe what they're seeing. Even that's though true. you seeing that the sky is blue, you still want to say it's green. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. You just don't right. want to believe it because you know, you know in your heart. And it's like it's just like like when my daughter when she started calling this man dad, 
The first day she called him dad, we was like, oh, what for his dad yet? <laughs> I, I don't see him, but it was like, you know, I said to her, I said, you don't have to call him that. And she was like, I know. I said, well, we asked her, we was like, why do you, why do you call him dad? Like, what makes you want to call him dad? Because she's a daddy girl. Yeah. And oh, she was sweet. like, very honey. She, she didn't snap on me if I said something about her daddy. But, you know, she said that to her, you know, she knows that a daddy loves their child. They play with their child. And she said that he cares about her. So kids... They, they, it's like the little book you read when you say, Daddy comes home, play with it. They know. They know. Mm-hmm. And she sensed that about him. And from there, you know, she did it on her own. So it was like, wow. Like that, to me, that before it even got to as deep as we got, mm-hmm. I, I said to myself, well, you know what? My daughter sees something good in this man. Mm-hmm. And she let it, it got to be something good. Right. It got to be. That goes back to what I just said. Children can, they can pick sense. Up. They can yeah. sense. They got that yeah. They yeah. have that sensibility that we block That's true. because we're so in love with these people. And when you look, ain't nobody tell and you it's mm-hmm. oh, I love you, but I'm gonna knock the shit out of you later. <laughs> That's what it is. That's true. And speaking, oh, and yeah, that is true. And that, and, and I must point this out: the worst thing you can ever do is choose your man or your woman over your own child. Yes. Mm. Don't ever yes. do that. Mm. Oh yeah. That's the most toxic thing you can do. Oh Don't yes. ever do that. I don't have no respect for nobody that does that. I'm now, not only are you risking yourself and your well-being, you're risking your child as well. Oh yeah. And some people don't want to acknowledge that. That's yeah, accept that. That's yeah. hard. But when you have a child and you're in that relationship and you start making decisions that affect the child, it affects that child. Okay. Whether it's you know the I mean? father, whether or it's the, the father mo- or the mother, mm-hmm. it doesn't matter. It don't matter. Mm-hmm. Because if that mother is toxic to that child and you, this is all for the fathers out there, yeah. you should not be donating that activity towards your child. Because your child don't need to see his or her mother act a fool. He don't or she don't need to see you disappointed all the time. And it goes the same way for mothers. Us mothers go through a lot, but at the same time, we can't take everything that a man give us and just say, okay, this is how we're supposed to take it. Or this is how life is supposed to be. Mm-hmm. Because at the end of the day, once I said it again, and I'm going to say it again, your children is the key to your life. Your kids will be miserable as they get grown, mm-hmm. and their personalities will be horrible. Mm-hmm. They will be no good to society. Why? It's because they'll get the depression. They'll go on drugs, they'll drink, act up, act up, steal, kid. go to jail, mm-hmm. kid. exactly. Oh, yeah. All that so, play a part in their upbringing. And That's, it's all the emotions. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's why I always say, whatever y'all go through, please be careful of what you do when a child is involved. Because whatever you do it, it, negatively, that is going to affect that child the older they get. Especially if they're, if, if they're crying about it or, they, or they, they're hurting about it. They don't want to see their mommy or their daddy hurting because that's going to hurt them or bother them in their upbringing. And please don't think because they're behind doors don't mean oh, that they, they know. No, no, no. They got ears for a reason. Honey. They know. They pick up on everything. Believe me. They oh, do. Yeah. God gave yes. them the sense like everybody else. And they're sponges. Mm-hmm. Children are sponges. Every little thing that happens... They and serve they, 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 they serve it up and then yeah. they put pieces together. Yes, you might know. do one thing like one moment mommy's happy or daddy's happy, then the next moment dad got a little scratch right here on the cheek. You know what I mean? Kids pick up on every little thing and or certain words or actions. Yeah. Don't, don't and the kids put it together. Do nothing. Don't promise them. Oh, that's the worst thing you oh, can don't, do. Don't, don't promise they, they them. Yeah. Oh, me and mommy is going to get better or me and daddy's going to get better and the life is going to get better. No, then it's they not gonna, gonna they, get better. Yeah, then they're gonna look at you and be angry, like, "Well, you promised me," and then that's gonna show a show to them that, okay, you're not a man or a woman of your word. Not and only then that's that, gonna, that's gonna cause a dysfunctional relationship with y'all. But child, not child only get older. that, well, as the child get older, he or she may get in the same toxic relationship. Exactly. And God and forbid, think it's okay. God forbid, they significant other don't kill them. Mm, right. 
Yeah, that's true. And yeah, that's also, true. too, it's like people have a fear of being alone. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that's yeah. Like, yeah. That's a lot. A lot of people, people, lot of people, you know, people like always yeah. feel like, like, I know people yes. that, that, that seem like they be in a relationship every, every couple months. Like, it's like, you, you just can't be alone. Like, mm. you have to be with somebody. And it's like, don't be afraid to be alone. Go out and, and yes. try to love yourself, you love yourself or first. go travel somewhere or try to find something that makes you happy you know that keeps your mind meditated and keeps you you know going because it's it's better some it sometimes it's better to be alone to, to, than okay. to be with somebody who verbally abuses you physically abuse you because the well, outcome of that right. is very much more intense than you just being alone it's okay yeah. to be single yes, it's so okay, yes. si- single and mingle yeah. You know, yes. you don't got to worry yes. about nobody calling your phone, questioning you, wonder why you're going here, why you're doing this. Live All your that life. Bull. exactly. I mean, it takes it bull. takes more it takes more strength to stand alone sometimes. Because I used to yes. say that I used to say that you know I don't want a bunch of uh, baby daddies. I, I like I, I just want I don't want no another man around my child, and that's what really pushed me to still stick around for that reason. This did not want, because mm-hmm. I hear a lot of people say that they yeah. don't want more than one baby dad. They want to mm-hmm. keep the same baby mama. They don't want to have that. No. Now, listen, this is number two for me. This is it. <laughs> <laughs> but, this is number two. Okay. And, you know, and I, and, I'm, and I feel good about it because that first one just, just wasn't right. It wasn't right. It wasn't the right time in our life. It wasn't, you know, I was a little bit more mature. And sometimes it's that too. Sometimes. Like they say, you know, men, women are a little bit more mature than, than men. Sometimes we be in the marriage and all, and they still over here um, <laughs> trying to run the streets and stuff. And if that's what they want, how they want to live, don't force it. Mm. Don't, yeah, force yeah, don't force it. it. That's the word. Yeah. Then yeah. that's that's yeah. another thing. Don't force love. Don't force somebody to to try to be that man or woman that you want them to be. If they don't want to be that, then let then them let be. Let them be. Let yeah, them let be. Because there might be somebody else out there that want to deal with that. Exactly. And what you want, there may be somebody else that, that wants what you want. But you're pushing, because I, I did that. I pushed away so many good people in my life where I'm like, God, they married now. They, they, they bought a house. And I'm like, damn, that, that was real. You know, but it's like, as now, I, it just wasn't my time. Maybe I had to grow to, to, to get hit hard in the head a little bit, but <laughs> you, you yeah, can get through it. Like that Don't be afraid yeah. to be alone. Please you know, don't be afraid. And I'm just, yeah. oh, go ahead, ladies. It is funny how y'all say that is because I don't remember who told me this, but an older person told me, I don't know if it was my grandmother or my mom, but they always told me God got a path for you. Mm-hmm. Oh, he and has, yeah. he's leading you in this path, but you always got obstacles to go through this path to get to where you really need to be. And if you don't go through the obstacles of life, you can't get what you really want because you don't know what life is about without going through the obstacles. Blocking your blessings. It's not and just so much of blocking also, the blessings, but obstacles is going to come through anywhere. But yeah. with this relationship, yes, also, that's he also has a path for you. Right. That's all, that's right. also where wisdom comes in. Like whatever, exactly. you, whatever you go yeah. through, you 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 know what to expect. Exactly. You, you could be teaching that next person now be going through the same shit that you went through. Right. That, yeah, that's true. So that's yeah, true. that's how if you don't go if you don't go through hard times in life, how are you supposed to have wisdom? How are you supposed to have yeah, knowledge? How are you supposed to know? Me, how are you yeah. supposed to learn? And I remember an older person said to me, I'm sorry. I, I remember an older person said to me, sometimes people are taken out of your life temporarily, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then you got some people that need to be taken. It's permanent. Need to be out. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. And then sometimes too, some relationships I've seen people take apart. For years, sometime, and then they and come get back. back they get yeah, back, and but when they come back, it's better. They got a better understanding. Because they yeah, mature. Be, yes. They uh, mature. Yes. Oh, they always say, "What's meant to be will always find its way." Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So if it's meant to be, trust me, it may be. It may take years from now and whatnot. But if it's meant to be, you will know, and then you guys will be more ready at that mm-hmm. time. So be careful when you get in a relationship or talking to anyone, whether you man or woman. That the first signs that they give you, the first red flags, 
note it, look at it, observe it, and even sometimes depending depending on the severity of it, run. Because once you're in that toxic relationship and you stay in that, you just don't want, and this is where I was kind of trying to get into it, where you don't want to block your blessings by staying with someone you're not meant to be with anyway. So you want to make sure that when you do have that time to yourself, which I commend you for, because it sounds like you actually took the time and the patience to get to, you know, know yourself better, to grow, to love yourself better before you found that man that you're with now and have that happy relationship and that love. So it's like when you get into that space, that space that you're to yourself, that's just God telling you to get to know yourself, get yourself together first, and then your blessing will eventually come. And like she said too, obstacles, there are always going to be obstacles. And that was just a test, that was just a trial for you to go through. So you know next time when you get into another relationship, what to avoid. And then on top of that, some people be like, because I hear some people sometimes, they be like, well, if God loves me and whatever like that, like, why would God have me go through this? Why would God let this man beat me? Why it's would, I, why would I get it's cut? It's you, can you, can relate. you can relate to other people who went through that. And you know what, real quick, I have to I have to say this on that because people are so quick to say, Oh, why God put me put me through this and put me through that. Mm-hmm. Guess what? His he, his son had to go through ten times worse than we went through. Oh, his son Jesus being beaten, being whipped, whipped, being nailed to a cross. Okay, imagine that. He let his son go through that. So it, it us as his children as well, we're gonna go through a similar pain. We just not going through it as badly as he went through it, but mentally and physically, you gotta tell yourself, when we Go through stuff like that. That's only because God is testing us with faith, with God, based on our faith. It's not even so much a faith. It, 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 it can be faith. He's sometimes. teaching you a lesson. Exactly. Yeah. A lesson it's a faith. lesson of life. Yeah. That everyone. Hard life. Everyone. It could be. It could be hard, or it could be easy. Because some people are born with a silver spoon. <laughs> and yeah. guess what? They're the worst. Because they never go through hardship. The reason why I say faith is because sometimes people be so quick and so weak minded to just want to give up on life. Yes. They will be so yeah. quick to give up yes. easily. And that's, and that's why that's why, why I say also where God's testing you, testing your faith, to see how strong you are um, to get through all of it. And sometimes God shows you. He does. And what he tells you, you is the map where you need to go. But guess what? You, you know don't see it. And I'm one, I was one of those hard hit people that God was right here, but I still wanted to go this way. Yeah. And guess what God did to me? He said, okay, you, you want to keep, um, before my daughter, you want to keep having unprotected sex. And you know, you, guess what? Okay, now I'm here, your baby now. Since you want to play them games. And that's what he did. Like sometimes. People say that, but God show you signs, and people don't take them. Down. They, they keep running through the other way and thinking that God can only save you so much. He, he's one man that takes care of the whole entire universe, mm. so he tries to help people, you know. And it's like people don't always take that 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 that, that vision that He give you. They they want to try to create their own they thinking. It's going like I said, that hope. Stop hoping. Yeah. Oh yeah. Stop hoping. Girl, you mm-hmm. ain't never lies. And sometimes. He will give you a gift. Oh, yeah, he will. Mm-hmm. That's true. She said God was trying to show her one way and she went another. And he taught her a lesson. If you do not obey what I'm trying to show you, this is what's going to happen. But in my case, I didn't do that. He gave me something. He gave me a blessing so that I won't go down that road. And that blessing... He's 20, 25 now. <laughs> and we had some hardship going, but my son is a blessing to me. Yeah. Yeah, kids, yeah, I would say kids yeah. is always going to be a blessing. A blessing. That's he the blessed me with man. three sons. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I, I commend myself yes. and the Lord because I don't think I would have made it this far mm. without my children. Okay. Yes. Yes. And, and for some people, that's what it takes, and it's okay. It's okay because that of the it toxic relationship that I was in, and I wasn't in only one; I was in two of them. And they made me so down that I didn't know where to turn. Mm. But I had these two children, 
And all they did was, I love you, mommy. Aww. And that's what made me want to do something different. Want to go and do better. Kids me. can make definitely make you a better person. Oh, that's why, yeah, that's, that's why he said. That's really, why I say they are. Yes, yeah. yeah. keep you going. Yeah. They, uh-huh. they might be the reason you never want to give as much as you yes. want to just be like, I'm gonna quit this job today. That's what I but you know you need the job to take care of your child. That's yeah. what I like, They definitely. Yes. I, I yes. definitely feel like my daughter is a blessing. I feel like she grew me as a person. She helped me just seeing like, I, like me just going through what I went through. I said to myself, I will never let another child go through what she is experiencing now, you know, because he's not there. So it's like, I, we have that ability to stop that. Sometimes, you know, you can be protected and, and some women, unfortunately, they still get pregnant, even though they, yeah, sure. you know, protecting themselves, but that's like slim to none. Okay, yes. it's slim to none. So when that, to me, if you are having unprotected sex, you're not taking no birth control, that child was meant to be there. That is not a mistake because right. you did not do anything, and that's why I had to accept. That's why I didn't get upset after a while. Because I'm like, I didn't do anything to prevent it to happen. Sometimes you can prevent it, but it still happened because exactly. God, God is that you need exactly. that child. Yeah. You need that person in your life. And basically, that's what happened to me. I was preventing, but at the same time, he said, no. We're not going to prevent this. You're going to have this. Mm-hmm. I'm going to give you something that you're not going to want to get rid of. And you feel stronger, don't you? I feel very strong at times. And then at times I don't. Right. And that's honest truth. You know. Yeah. Yeah, you can get right And at the same time, my, my, my sons, they worship the ground I walk on as a mother. They're all grown. But I love every one of them in different ways. Because every one of them give me something different from their personalities. And the relationship that we have is completely different. So when you have your second child, you'll see what I'm talking about. Because you and your daughter, y'all are going to be best friends. But you and your son or your daughter that you're having now, Y'all gonna be best friends, but it's gonna be a different relationship. Because always remember, your first child is gonna be you all over again. Yeah, You're gonna look crazy. at your daughter as she growing up and say, if this girl don't stop, <laughs> I'm gonna I see it now in the peer conference when they say yeah. I need my daughter to talk too much. That was me. I was just a tear. Yeah. Once upon a time. <laughs> and then if she has a sassy way, you look oh, at she think, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And you think about think about yourself is because you said her father is not in her life. So who else is she getting this from? You get what I'm saying? So us as parents, throw that toxicness out the window. And make your baby feel that this world is just for you and her, or you and him. And that's how it should be for, as far as yourself and your child, because that's your world. Because oh, as um, their saying goes that the parents are the children's first teachers of the world. They are. So when they yeah, come out into so. the world, mm-hmm. they coming out to the world with what they was raised with, what they was well, believed with, and what they had in their household. Mm-hmm. So that's why it's just best. So try your best to do your best what's best for you, and your child, so that way when your child goes into this world, your child will be more healthier, and you know, they'll be a better more. person, and yeah. more nurtured and everything like that, so it's like, if you let your child go through what they go through, first of all, I just want to let people know, you cannot, you cannot influence, well, you can try to influence, but you can't change nobody else's behavior, so if somebody else, the baby dad or baby mom want to act up, that's on them. But you make sure that you don't do anything to jeopardize your child. And you try your best to make it as safe and as happy and loving for your child. So that way they have less of a struggle to adjust how being a person, how to socialize, how to be an adult, and how to function in this world. And I think that's just really important. The only diapers you can change is babies. 
Yeah. Yeah. I like that saying. That's no, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's, that's, a, that's, that's, that's a funny but strong but saying. Yeah, they, they, room, it is. That's room, true. they have to want to change. To. You know, children, you can build them up. Yeah. But grown adults, once they are who they are, they have to want to change. And if they don't want to change, leave them with the unchangeable self. Right. And remember, you never change no one. No one has ever changed anyone. But you can influence someone. Yeah. Because they at the end of the day, it's they a, yeah, they, they have, have to want, to want it. To. That's why you can only yeah. influence, but you can never change. Yeah, because they have to do that and make that decision that, themselves. Yeah, exactly. Like they always say, you can't help somebody if they don't want to be safe. No, oh, yeah, that's no. true. It's like this. Like they say, you can lead the horse to water, but you cannot make them drink. Yes. Mm-hmm. I just mm-hmm. have one more thing to say about this situation. I've always told my children, you are I and I am you. Mm-hmm. That's, that's the truth. Because mm-hmm. at the, the end of the day, that's all you got in life. Your mom and yourself. Because without your mom, some people is lost. And well, without their dad, because yeah. some people, I love my mama. I ain't put you on blast. I'm just saying. <laughs> but if I was you raised was, mostly by my father. But if you was raised by your mother, yeah, or your, or father, your father, that child, that child that was raised by that parent, that parent is gonna be that child's world. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we can attest to it when our parents used to punish us and oh, 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 but guess what? I still love my mom like she right. just get that oh, dope yeah. right behind. I it, still love my mom. Yeah, you oh, yeah. Remember, mom they, you, gotta, you also gotta remember if it wasn't for the mother, you wouldn't be here. That's true. She had to go through all that hell and pain just to bring you into this. But world. it's funny how you say that. It's because they always say you are what your father is. They always say that. Yeah, yeah. That's true. I have they heard say that. that. Time. They yeah. say you are what your father is, but in some strange way, I don't agree with that. Is because okay, your father give the sperm, but your mother carry you for nine months and carry you for life. Mm-hmm. I I I'm gonna put it out there. My personal. I dedicated. This song to my children. Thanks to thanks for my child. For the simple reason is, at the end of the day, if anybody knows that song, thanks for my child. She's telling her son that no matter what we go through, it's just me and you. Mm. Yeah, it's just me and you. Because somewhere in that song, she says. When your daddy left me and you, he ran away free. Mm. And all he did is he left me and you here by ourselves to fend for ourselves. Mm. I am you and you are me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, even to that. For anybody that may be going through that. Because at the end of the day, you know, I love my mom. My mom was, you know, my mom is still there. Both my parents are in my life, period. But in my life, I was mostly raised by my father. So it's like I empathized and looked up to that man a lot. And my mom always teased me about that. She'd be like, your father ain't never wrong, is he? I said, I ain't say that. But then I'd be like, yeah, she might be right. You know what I mean? That man, you know, he he might not be, you know, never wrong. You was always a daddy's girl. Yeah, I was always a daddy's daddy's girl. girl. So, you know. But for those that also have fathers, that what she is saying, it goes well with every parent. That that child is with, that takes care of them, that sacrifice the time, work, and dedication. Because both my parents, I was blessed to have both my parents in my life, though still, and that they did everything for me. But for those that have one parent or mainly was raised with one parent, yeah, it's going to happen like that. So you just make sure that you build that relationship because I'm really trying to talk to the people, and I'm sorry I keep going to this, but I feel like I need to keep going to this. To reach out to somebody that you cannot change nobody. Yes. Yes. So don't put that burden yes. on yourself uh-huh. that, oh, if I had stayed in this relationship, maybe this would have been different. Or maybe my child would blame me had I not done this or had I not do that. Don't ever blame yourself for what somebody else chooses to do. No. You got to do what's best for you and your child. Because at the end of the day, if you do what's best for you and your child everything will work out just fine. You can't help with the, the knucklehead that you're with, whether woman or man. You can't help that. So I just want people to understand that don't ever put that weight on you. Don't put don't put their demons and their burdens on you. 
to do what's best for you and for your child. And even if you don't have children, do what's best for you. Don't put your own, put their uh, demons and burdens on you. Like, as don't, I was don't saying make earlier. Don't yourself stressed out. No. Yeah. No, no, yeah. If somebody ain't changing and they don't hear you out, if you have a problem in the relationship, even if you don't have kids, because I, I don't have any children. So even if you have been in a relationship and there's a situation going on and you have a problem and they're not trying to hear you out, then you need to reevaluate that relationship. And that's okay. It's okay to reevaluate it. And if you need to, step Go out of yourself. it. Yes, yes. Because yes, it's a yourself. team effort. Yeah, you yes. can't sit up here and keep sacrificing yourself for somebody else. And then on top of that, they're not trying to hear your problems or trying to know or want well, to know understand. and get to understand, understand and try to help yes. you and fix you. Nah, yeah, that's not real, how that goes. Yeah, because, um, real quick, because um, as we all know, this movie, I just want to make a point of this real quick. Uh, as we all know the movie, what's love got to do with it? With yeah. Tina Turner and whatnot? Yeah. Ooh. It, oh. That's my movie. Because, <laughs> because um, he it, tried it, to change her so much. <laughs> And, yeah, because it, it, it never happened. Because you see, what got me was you see the reason why it, why we watched that movie. The reason why she even stayed with him that long because she didn't want to leave him because she knew what that feeling was like when her mother alone. when her mother left her, when yeah. her mother left her That's and true. she didn't want to do that to him. But it got to a point where she looked she in that mi- no she more. looked in that mirror and she said no, she can't keep going through this. So she no. had the strength to leave. And That's why I love Tina Turner so much. She's truly a role model. Even though when she did leave, her children was older. Yeah. But some, in some cases, you can do that if you have the willpower. Yeah, willpower, yeah. And you know what? And I love that he brought that up because as soon as he said that, another movie that reminds me of that, the mm-hmm. strength that I love and that I really admire was Whitney Houston in that movie, um, Bodyguard. No, uh, the one with Angela Bassett. Oh, Wait to Exhale. Wait to Exhale. Yes, Wait to Exhale. exhale. Yeah, it's my favorite yeah. movie. Can't believe yeah. I forgot the title for a split second. <laughs> but in there, her mother was lonely and her mother raised oh, yeah. her. So her mother was pressuring her to hurry up and find a man. You in your 30s, you getting older, you ain't getting no younger. You need to hurry up, get married, and have a kid. And she was pressuring her so much to the point where her mom was trying to make it okay for her to be with a married man. Just, oh, he's going to get a divorce and everything. When really she saw the signs and she was like, no, that's not happening. So what I really admire her for is that she was like, you know what? I'm standing up for herself. She's like, mom, I got a career. I'm doing well. I'm promoting. I have other interests that you're not taking into. And that's what we need to do for ourselves, too, is to have that love for ourselves, that comfortability, and knowing that we're fine just by ourselves as long as we keep you know, growing within ourselves and, you know, appreciate what have we do have around us. For yeah. your and that stability. And that stability. And that's not your child. It is not your child. It's not your exactly. job yep. to raise a man or a woman. Okay. Ooh, no, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. They had a oh. They had a daddy. Teaching life, um, help build up, and that's not my child. Call, call your mama, <laughs> call your daddy, call whoever. It, it is not your job to raise them. You got to raise them. They know you don't need them. You don't need them. Yes. First of all, I just want to say I don't know if we need to end on that note or not. Like that was just so good. Uh, yeah, yeah, but, yeah, but, but, but speaking of end, but speaking of end, the sad <laughs> truth is we really do. about we really do got to end. That's the yeah, sad truth. See how comfortable. But the sad truth is we gotta get ready to come to an end. Um uh, just real quick, um just the um just the message just the um message for this really quick. Um the whole message of this episode is Everything in life is not a mistake. Everything happens for a reason. Yes, yes. Everything is for a purpose. And even when you're with someone, being with uh, that person is not a mistake. No, no, right. That's no, true. It's, it's to either make you or break you, or mm-hmm. to teach you. Mm-hmm. Right. So never feel like what you do is a mistake. Everything is for a purpose. Exactly. And it you is. must find your. A strength. lesson can be a blessing. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Lesson in disguise. That's, that's right. what I say. All right. Oh, so until 
And, oh, oh, real quick, I just want to say, bro, thank, thank you, you so much, baby. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. 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 Air, air hug right here. Air yes. hug. Air <laughs> hug. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, you definitely, we'll, this won't be the last time we see you. We'll definitely be seeing you in the yes. future for our, our upcoming episodes. With the wobbly band. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's like, that's why I get it. Oh, yeah. back here. <laughs> Wobble, wobble, honey. <laughs> Still look good. That's right, baby. That's right. All right, so we're going to get right in this. Uh, so it's Excuse me, y'all. Oh, yeah, 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 real quick. Yeah, so we can get the sound right real quick. And um, the first button was. No. Yes. So, uh, yeah. In the back, the first button. This here? Yep. Yeah. See, this is what happens when you got to do everything on, yeah. on, on your own on this show. We, yeah. we literally do everything to everything. ourselves on this show. But glory to God, we, we just give it all a positive message and a, a, a strong legacy with this. So no matter well, what. Are we speaking the real? Yes, that's yes. right. Yes, <laughs> yes, we is. No, it's not the real. It's the, the truth. truth. The truth. Yes, yes, baby. Yes, we speaking right. the yes. truth. <laughs> yes, that's, this is our show, the truth. Yeah, I know, girl. Sometimes it's we so good, you know, we need to be like the real. <laughs> well, in a way, we kind of are. Like, kind of like now we is. <laughs> exactly. So yeah, they would see this. Shout out to y'all. Yeah, yeah that that be our competition. So okay, to wrap this up, y'all, y'all ready to do our little dance and whatnot? Yes, and until are. next week, y'all. What are we again, y'all? The, the truth. truth. Until next week, y'all. Stay tuned. We love y'all. All right, Peace thank y'all.